In this video, I will show you how to use Lux AI, which is the next generation AI platform for architects and designers. So I'll show you how you can use it to basically create images and generate real life images for mockups and show you all of its features. So just go to its website, click on get started for free, and it will take you here. Now they have split it up into image tools and video tools. So you can see some of those videos right here, but I'm going to start with the photos right here. Now you can see, first of all, you have the image generation gen two, which basically means that you can enter a prompt and then it will create an image. Now, in order to create images or videos, you will be using credits and you will get some credits for free. So first of all, just going to sign in or sign up. Then here you can answer a quick question and you will get 100 of these credits for free. So just answer that right here. I'll say student, then architecture, then we'll ask how did you hear about our product. I will say Google search and click submit and then you will get 100 credits. So click start the adventure. And now here you can actually start with your first prompt. So you can enter a few keywords right here of what you want to create. But what you can also do is select an image right here. For example, I'll select that one. And then you can see the label that was used to create that image. And that is basically the prompt. Now you can also enter a reference image right here. If you want to create something similar to an already existing image, you can choose the number of creations. Now, if you do more then it will cost more as well, then the ratio of the image and the seed. Now I'll just wait for this one to finish. So this right here is the image it created. So you can see right here, it's a residential kitchen embracing an American country style theme. The walls and furniture use wooden materials and American elements, etc. So you can see what it has created. Now what I like to do is just close this. And then here, if you click on the current tool you are using, you will see the image and video tools. Now all of these are very cool. So you can do a video to a video. So if you already have a video or a set of images and you want to convert that into a video rendering, for example, this is kind of a time-lapse of the building being built. Now you can see the video created from that. You can also do an image to a video. So it will actually create a 3D video. So that is very cool. And for example, I'll take this image right here and just click on the download button. And then I'll go to the image to video in a second and show you what it does. Then you can also do text to video. So you could say bedroom, underwater restaurant, a villa, or of course you can be a lot more specific than just two words. And then it will generate a video for that. For now, I'll head into the image to video and drag in the image that I just created. Now here you can choose the motion. Now the higher you do the motion, the more it will move. But usually there could be some mistakes if you put it really high. So I'll just keep it at five. Now you can see this will cost 20 credits compared to just one credit for creating an image. Now you can see when you are generating something currently in this case four users are ahead of me. And if you subscribe to their paid plan, then you can get it faster. So again, I'll just wait for this to finish and then show you what it looks like. Now, in the meantime, right here, you can see their subscriptions. So you can do a subscription or a top up or a redemption if you have a redemption code. Now, top up is just one time. So if you don't think you will be using it every single month, then a top up may be best because, for example, you can get 1100 credits for $20 or for $200, you get 10,500. Now, in terms of the subscriptions, you can see right here, if you subscribe for $20 per month, you get 580 credits per month and unlimited X credit. Then the annual subscription is $199 per year and both of them do offer a seven day free trial. So I've waited for about 10 minutes for it to finish, but it's still just generating and it doesn't really give an indication of how long it's going to take because it said this at the beginning. So for now, I'll just move on, but you probably can imagine it will just create a video of it. If it does create it later, then I'll show you it. But for now, it kind of seems like the server is a bit overloaded. So I don't think I would recommend using Lux AI to create videos because it's going to take 10 or maybe even 15 minutes per video. And that's probably going to be too much. So even though it are some really cool features, I'm just going to go to the image tools. So you have the image generation where you can simply upload an image or sketch or describe your concept in words. Uh, the video has finished, so I'll just show you it right here. 
So you can see it looks pretty good, it's not perfect. You can kind of see that it is AI because it kind of warps right there in an unusual way in there too. But this is a pretty complex image. If it's just a building, then it could be easier for it to create. But if you just want to download it, click on the download button in the top right. So it took for me maybe 13 minutes to finish. So that is something to keep in account. Now for now, what I'm going to do is create a sketch and render it into a real image or basically a real looking image. So to do that, you want to get the image generation right here. Then here for the base image, I'll just upload a sketch of a building. For example, I'm going to upload this sketch. Then you can also upload a reference image and you can choose how many creations you want. And then here for the prompt, you can choose how you want it to be. Then for the output effect, you can set it to default, rendering style or physical model style. I'll just keep it to default and it's going to create four images. I'll just click start creations. However, you can see the free server is overcrowded now. Try again in an hour or subscribe. Now maybe if I do one, now one image is possible. So I'll just create one image right now. So the downside of using Lux AI is that the servers are pretty bad in my opinion, and they are overloaded pretty often. And even if you do get the paid subscription, then the generation will still take a really long time, but maybe they will make that quicker in the future. So you can go ahead and try it out, but I'll again just wait for this one to finish so that you can see how it will look if you upload a sketch of a building or whatever you have a sketch of. It can also be interior design and then it will basically create a real looking image of that. So the sketch has finished and again this is the before right here. So this is the sketch and then this right here is the render. So it has created a really good render in my opinion. The car here is a little bit weird proportion and there wasn't a car here, it was just some kind of a window but it made a car of it. But you can change stuff if you want. So to do that just click on the edit icon in the top right. So right now it had that car and if I want to change that, so for example, I could say remove the car. So I could draw like an area like this. So if I want this to be changed, I could say remove car like this and then click start creations. And then it should go ahead and remove the car from the image. So you can see now it has created a larger car for only the front part, so it's still not good, but you can just change it a few times. You could say just make this part the street or something, and eventually it will get it right. But the fact that you can just go in and change something is pretty helpful. You can also use the brush and just go like that, and then you can actually change the part that you highlight with your brush. It's a pretty cool tool to use, and I definitely recommend trying it out since you can use it completely for free. And with everything I've done, I've still only used 43 credits, and you get 100 of them for free. And you can also use it like this, where you edit an already existing image to add in a swimming pool, for example. And you can see some of the videos here. So if it's more of a simplistic image that you upload, then the video will be a bit better. So now you know how you can use Lux AI. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.